Yeah, uh, Bradamante is not a meme anymore. Uh, with this latest buff, she is definitely, definitely closer to her, her uh, counterpart, Bridomart. These two have been compared since Bridomart's release. And finally, Bradamante is able to actually compete and in some cases exceed what Bridomart can do. But there is the definite case that Brita Mart works better in the current meta because of the deck. Uh, this right here is, it's not terrible, but it doesn't work well with Ruler Scotty. And until they buff OG Scotty's battery to give like MP gain or something, only having one buster card is a bit of an issue for quick servants right now. But that is definitely opinion based and it depends on what you're doing. Uh, so let's get started talking about Bradamante. First off, base attack is low. There's no hiding it. It's it's low. If you want this to be like normal five star numbers, you have to grail her. And like at level 100, this looks closer to the average for five stars. But just know if you're trying to 120, like are you really gonna give away grails? Probably not. And even with this buff, I don't. It is kind of hypocritical that I'm saying like don't grail her, Bradamante, and but for Europa, I, uh, not for Europa. Yeah, keep doing this, Andromeda. I did say like grail her, but that's more because Andromeda is, is an actual solo servant tank. It does make sense to make her have more HP and attack over Bradamante, who's like more farmer, um, and like has some CQ stuff, but isn't an actual tank. This HP is one of the highest in the game, if not top 10, at least top 20. 15.6k, very high. Star weight sergeant is normal Lancer numbers. MP charge is 0.7%. I don't have a problem with this gain. She has a five hit MP with 0.7. You know who also has five hit MP and has really shit refund these days? Achilles. And even your uh, Andromeda, and like I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna pretend that Andromeda's refund is the best. It's good when she's fighting casters, but against any other class, you're definitely gonna run into issues. Having a good base gain for M yeah, having a good base MP gain, very important. Scales with all the other buffs you have. You can't you can't increase the base gain for a unit unless it gets a specific buff. Like a Skandar is the only unit in the game. I have ever seen them actually buff the base MP game. Unless they start doing that more, you have to, servants need more like higher value, like gain and card buff. At the very least, you don't have to work that much harder with Bradamante, especially since he already has MP gain in our kit. Nah. Uh, uh, deck. So four hits on quick, two hits on arts, five hit extra attack, four hit on buster. These arts cards are fairly weak, but she does have hard buffs to like make them better. And again, MP gain. She's a quick unit. You're supposed to be uh, critting on these cards too. That's their idea for balance. I kind of wish these were at least three hit, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. Like, yeah. She, she has four cards to help her refund with. It, it's not the biggest deal at this point. First skill, 30% arts and quick up on a five turn cooldown. I don't think they're gonna buff this skill. Like this is honestly was the least egregious skill in her entire kit. And honestly at release, this probably was her best skill. Yeah, no, this was, at release, this was 100% her best skill, 100%. Second skill, one time, three turn guts, 30% defense for three turns on a six turn cooldown. If this C if this skill doesn't say CQ, boss fight, I don't fucking know what does. Since when do you need a guts and defense for farming? 
third skill this is what it was originally a 20 targeted battery that cleanses they buffed it it is 30 percent and it's still targeted uh and then she gets anti-earth at 30 percent and mp gen at 30 percent on a five turn cooldown so she has the 30 she's able to do farming for herself it's no longer awkward and she keeps the challenge quest utility if and definitely this makes it better the only passive she has is magic resist a for 20 percent debuff resistance you are going to want this mana loading so that you can do quick uh start easier with quick farming use better ce's instead of starting with k scope anti-rider funny since britomar has anti-riding on her mp i just find that a little funny um extra attack it's not the worst thing you do you can upgrade for uh i would i personally would go extra attack over anti-rider but base gain is good she's a lancer so the star gen isn't the worst it's not a uh, pretender it's not assassin but it's still decent especially with the quick cards like these are pretty good quick cards they're not again they're not the best but they are very good now we get to finally talk about the mp so five hit aoe damage all enemies 60 percent chance to stun crit attack chance reduction 20 percent, and then mp damage this is what she's always had uh it wasn't that this was a bad mp it just there was definitely a lack of damage he needed the mp upgrade pretty much just for the damage and that's pretty much what they did they gave her damage and they gave her crit ramp up 30 percent i am very very happy they started to do this crit ramp up like i especially quick units in particular i think it's like really weird that there aren't that many of them that actually has crit ramp up like uh i know achilles is one of the first ones that got it recently uh his buff comes out before comes out this year it's before takasugi but takasugi is one of the units in the game that i think of that comes to mind first when it comes to like no actually sorry i take it back it's archers that don't have crit ramp up which is weird and they have like such high star weight but yeah 30 percent ramp up and ain't bad on the third turn she ramps up to 90 percent crit damage which if you are using like a mix of uh scotties this is gonna make is almost gonna make it like uh you use whichever scotty you didn't have like normally if you use two uh casters and a ruler your buster crits is stuck at 100 percent this ramp up it goes up to 190 percent and obviously your quick cards are gonna get a free 90 percent as well this being all cards is just nice in general uh and makes it so even if you choose to do double ruler scotty which i don't recommend i don't recommend like because if you do double ruler scotty you're missing out on at least 100 percent crit damage for quick cards at the very least along with like this isn't a character that has defense down like say riku riku can afford to maybe do double ruler scotty but even the, i'd still say double, double cast uh yeah double caster scotty for mats to level up uh that are just annoying 44 proofs per skill but that's really the worst of it after that it's more less it goes from just something mind numbing to farms to something like annoying to farm if that makes sense the pens aren't that much better like 
Void Dust, but uh, Void Dust is easier to farm in general, I guess, than proofs. Just, just if you're farming free quests, it, it's easier because you just need Shadow Servants. Uh, yeah. Like these aren't Bradamante is an older servant. You're not gonna find anything crazy. Uh, the fact that it's just scales from the higher uh, difficulty content. I'll take that. Bonsi, MP gain for the party, MP damage while she's on the field. So let us look at looping numbers first. Okay, so as we can see here, and this is the first time I'm actually seeing these numbers, even with the uh, MP upgrade, she's only beating out Brita Mart by 10,000 damage. Not only that, according to this, Brita Mart still has better refund. And if you're not, yeah, just in general, uh, and let's just bring out Rito Mart, just so we have a little bit of context. Higher base gain. Same card buff. Right. Six hit. Riddle Mart having just a six hit MP with almost the same gain gain makes the difference in this case. And of course they're not gonna give Riddle Mart anti rider. In general, the more hits you have on your MP, the better for any kind of servant. Arts and quick especially. Uh, even Buster having high hits on her MP means you gen more stars. This just like, no, not even just like base gain. Changing the hits on the MP, I don't even think they've ever done. So this is just an issue with the MP itself. That's why they probably buffed it. And going by these numbers, even though Freedom Arts base MP damage is low. Uh, sorry, I just want to go back for proof. She still, she still can loop better against everything. You're able to get away with Black Rail a lot easier than you are with Bradamonte. Loop against class advantage and positive class. That's archers, riders, and caster. That's it. You can't have zerks. You can't have neutral. This is like, this is like the AOE rider problem, where they're built to fight casters. So their base refund is scuffed if they're not fighting casters. Now, granted, this is all MP1. If you have higher copies, you're gonna have better refund. That's just how it is. You hit overkill quicker. But we can't deny that this glow up that Bradamante got is nice. Bradamante no longer just needs super, can no longer requires super scope to do farming at MP1. You can do traces at MP1. You can do black rail at MP1 and you don't have the refund problem that you had before. There's still a refund problem. But it's not nearly as bad. As long as you do some carding, but you don't kill, you can probably loop against Berserker. But they're all but the inconsistency is going to get really, really frustrating for you if you are doing this for like if you're playing for an hour 
and you're supposed to be loop farming and half the time you miss it by like five percent you are going to get frustrated you don't want to have to put uh pop man seals for that there is no banner for bradamante she's a permanent servant if you have her is she better with this buff absolutely should you summon for her on a banner no like again unless you re like for gameplay sorry gotta preface that for gameplay if you like the character summon for them don't let my words tell you not to summon for a character if you like them i'm talking specifically for gameplay in this case shouldn't be wasting you shouldn't be going for a pity on a permanent servant not unless you really really like them and they haven't released new quick su support they haven't buffed og scotty this deck just isn't the best right now greater marks is better is just how it is i really don't want to like talk down on on uh Bradamante because she has gotten a, a hell of a glow up blow up she is in a she is in such a better place than when I started playing this game. She is not a meme anymore. You don't just use her for her ass cheek. You you would actually use her in farming these days. Or shouldn't say these days now. Again, sorry if I'm out of it today. Akira Toriyama died. I, I didn't want to do this at the start of the video, but it is definitely getting to me. I'm hoping to just be chilling on stream today. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys. Peace. And yeah, press in peace, Akira Toriyama. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.